let V be a proper subspace of Rn. We're going to see that there exists a matrix A with n columns, such that the null space of A is precisely V. The proof is as follows. First, take a basis of V, say V1 up to VK, and we form the matrix B, whose rows are given by V1 transpose up to VK transpose. Now notice that K is less than N because V is a proper subspace, and the rows of B are linearly independent, so the rank of B is going to be K. Now, look at the null space of B. The dimension of the null space of B is n minus k. And we take a basis for the null space of B, which we call w1 up to w n minus k. So by construction, we know that vi transpose times wj is going to be 0 for all i from 1 up to k, and for all j from 1 up to n minus k. Now, we let a be the matrix whose rows are w1 transpose all the way to w n minus k transpose. And we're going to claim that the null space of a is precisely v. So why is that? Well, let's look at these equations here. We can rewrite them as wj transpose times vi equals 0. And what this means is a times vi is going to be the tuple of zeros. And so all the basis elements v1 up to vk are in the null space of a, and that means all vectors in V are in the null space of A. So we can say that V is a subspace of the null space of A. But the dimension of V is K, and that is the same as the dimension of the null space of A. To see this, notice that the rank of A is n minus K because all the rows are linearly independent. So the null space of A will have dimension n minus n minus K. And that's precisely the dimension of the null space of A. And so we can conclude that the null space of A is the same as V, because V is a subspace of the null space of A having the same dimension.